In a universe full of mysteries, we stumble upon something that defies our understanding every now and then. The James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a groundbreaking discovery. The early universe was home to over 700 galaxies, a revelation previously unknown. Scientists embarked on a deep dive into the galaxies that existed mere millions of years after the Big Bang. As per the conventional cosmological model, this pivotal time frame is termed the epoch of reionization. It's believed that during this phase, the universe was enveloped in a gaseous haze, rendering it impenetrable to high-energy light. However, the Webb Telescope's findings have challenged this notion. Researchers have pinpointed over 700 potential galaxies near the universe's fringes in a turn of events. These galaxies were observed during the universe's infancy, specifically between 370 million and 650 million years of existence. The sheer volume of these galaxies surpassed any prior estimates made before the launch of the Webb Telescope. The telescope's unparalleled resolution and sensitivity have granted astronomers an unprecedented glimpse into these remote galaxies. In today's video, we're diving into the James Webb Space Telescope's latest discovery. It has spotted something challenging everything we thought we knew. These groundbreaking discoveries at the universe's extremities are awe-inspiring and somewhat daunting. They challenge and reshape the very bedrock of our cosmological understanding. This monumental discovery indeed heralds a new era in our quest for knowledge. A scientist from NASA remarked, In the past, the earliest observable galaxies appeared as mere blots, representing billions or millions of stars from the universe's dawn. Today, some of these are expansive entities with discernible formations. We're witnessing clusters of stars coming into existence just a few hundred million years after the universe's inception. To begin with, the James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a groundbreaking revelation. Within a galaxy that emerged when the universe was merely 10% of its present age, complex carbon-based molecules have been detected. These molecules, scientifically termed polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are also found in Earth's coal and oil reserves and smog. But what makes this discovery so monumental? Justin Spiker, the chief astronomer behind the study, elucidated, the compounds we've identified aren't basic molecules like water or CO2. We're discussing large, intricate molecules comprising dozens, if not hundreds, of atoms. It's astounding to think that the universe could produce such elaborate molecules shortly after the Big Bang, contrary to our existing models. Considering the vast distance of this galaxy, the light that reached the astronomers set out on its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. Given that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old now, we're peering into its formative stages. Here's the intriguing part. It's the prowess of the James Webb Space Telescope that enabled us to identify these multifaceted organic molecules. This discovery has set a new benchmark, pushing the previous records for such detections back by nearly a billion years. It's worth noting that earlier attempts to pinpoint complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could merely confirm their presence or absence. With the resolution James Webb Space Telescope offers, we can discern intricate details about their location within a galaxy. In the early galaxy SPT041847, these molecules aren't uniformly distributed, and the rationale behind this distribution pattern remains a mystery. These recent discoveries illuminate the processes that birthed the initial galaxies and stars, leading to the diverse array of elements we observe in the universe today. But the implications are even broader, suggesting a potential paradigm shift in our understanding. Earlier, the scientific community believed that the formation of these intricate organic molecules was closely associated with the birth of stars. Yet, the recent findings challenge this. Spilker and his team observed numerous areas abundant with these molecules but devoid of star formation. Conversely, they also found regions where stars emerged, but these complex molecules were absent. In the conventional cosmological model, it's posited that following the Big Bang, the universe took anywhere from 500 million to 1 billion years for its inaugural stars to emerge. This understanding, it seems, is now transforming. The star groupings under discussion are termed globular clusters. 
These are venerable cosmic assemblies that came into existence roughly 13.4 billion years ago. Not only are they among the most ancient and hefty star congregations, but they also display an intriguing trait. Their stars show varied compositions. Imagine stars, conceived together, emerging in tandem from the same cosmic crucible of condensing gas and particulates. Yet in a twist, even with their common genesis, these stars manifest notable disparities in the presence of elements like oxygen, nitrogen, sodium, and aluminum. Despite the challenges, the research team set out to identify the distinct markers of these colossal stars. Using the infrared capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, they aimed to observe globular clusters in their formative stages. The telescope's advanced features allowed them to explore the farthest corners of space, focusing on GNZ 11, one of the oldest and most remote galaxies we know. Located an astounding 13.3 billion light years away, the James Webb Space Telescope provided a snapshot of the galaxy when it was just in its early stages, making it a prime location to observe young globular clusters. The unique properties of light became their primary tool. Every chemical element has its own set of absorption and emission patterns, acting like fingerprints that disclose the composition of celestial entities. The team carefully analyzed the light from GNZ 11, revealing two crucial insights that furthered their investigation. Daniel Scherer, a prominent member of the research group and an astronomy professor at the University of Geneva, commented, our analysis shows that GNZ 11 has an unusually high concentration of nitrogen and a plethora of stars. These observations suggest that multiple globular clusters might have originated within GNZ 11, housing active supermassive stars. Guided by the James Webb Space Telescope, the team plans to study more distant galaxies, diving deeper into globular clusters and looking for evidence to support their hypotheses. As we continue our cosmic journey, we are constantly reminded of the vastness and intricacies of the universe. Each discovery brings us a step closer to unraveling the enigmas hidden amongst the stars. The James Webb Space Telescope has also studied WASP-39b, a gas giant 700 light years away, and found a complex mix of gases, including sulfur dioxide, a molecule never before observed on an exoplanet. The absence of methane also distinguished it from some solar system gas giants. James Webb Space Telescope's advanced spectrograph made this level of detail possible, marking a significant leap over previous telescopes. This discovery of high sulfur dioxide levels in WASP-39's atmosphere challenges existing models of gas giant formation and suggests the planet has 30 times more heavy elements than the Sun. This breakthrough offers new perspectives on the chemistry and evolution of alien worlds and could potentially advance the search for extraterrestrial life. The universe never ceases to amaze and challenge us. Given the James Webb Space Telescope's outstanding performance, it won't be long before we see the universe in a different light. Will we soon discover new galaxies that are way ahead of us? We want to hear your cosmic insights in the comments below. If this video sent your curiosity soaring, give it a big bang thumbs up and rock it into that subscribe button. But wait, before you drift away into the cosmic expanse, click on the video on your screen for more tales from the cosmos.